So the thing that I've noticed, the, the paradigm, if you will, of how to lay out an image for, let's say, a YouTube page or a Twitter page is typically go online, find a template, download the template, and use the template to create your image. Now, that, that definitely works, but the thing is, is you're putting yourself in a situation where you're relying on other people to always make those templates for you. And, you know, the, the trick is, more than anything, is that they make them somehow, so how, how do you do it? Well, the funny thing is, is it's actually easier to just create a template than it is to download it most of the time. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys here. So I've got my YouTube page here open, and as you can see, I've got I've got my subject and the lightning ball lined up pretty pretty well on this site, and um, I did that intentionally, and you know, with full accuracy and full knowledge of what I was doing. And to do that, all you have to do is um, actually get a copy of this web page in GIMP. So here we have GIMP open, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a page or you know go to your YouTube page like I've done here and then just hit the print screen button on your keyboard it's, sometimes it's abbreviated as PRT SCR um, and a couple other things but if you hit that key on your keyboard and then go over to GIMP and hit file create from clipboard it's actually going to create an exact copy one-to-one -one scale of whatever was on your screen whenever you press that button now all we have to do is click over here on our ruler and drag over and create a guide and just line it up with the edge of the um, of the box that's you know that was pasted in from our website so if you just do that there and there now you have the exact location of this uh, box in the middle so all you have to do now is just right click on this image and click delete layer and now you have a, your guides to give you the exact location of all that information. Now, of course, the thing is about a website that will usually get you is um, the size of your screens vary from one to the next. Like, for example, I'm, I've got a 22-inch widescreen monitor here, so it's, a, it's pretty big whenever you compare it to, you know, a 9-inch a iPad screen or something like that. So just be wary of that, but do know that the width of these guides well, generally speaking, is going to be the same from one, you know, one device to the next. The only thing that'll change is how much room you have from this guide to the edge here. So it'll usually just trim like that. So you want to make sure that you keep all of your vital information as close to the middle of your sheet as possible. So I hope that that little bit of information kind of helps. You know, it should be able to make things easier for whenever you're actually laying out a website uh, or specifically laying out a background for your YouTube page. Um, as for Twitter, I'll go ahead and show you, but honestly, it's the same exact steps as what I've shown already. Let's go ahead and switch back over, and I'll go to my Twitter page, which is twitter.com slash... It's actually twitter.com, and I'm at Alex Staniford. So here we go. So here you can see my profile and again everything lines up pretty nicely so to do that all I have to do is just hit the print, ski print screen key on my keyboard switch over to GIMP hit file new or file create from clipboard and again it'll paste that image in and drop it in and then you just take your guides drag them over so that they line up perfectly with the edges and you now know the exact location the dead space of your image. Um, this doesn't just work for Twitter and YouTube. Of course, you can do this with other sites. Um, for example, let's go to GIMP's website, the GIMP Tutorials website. Oops. Must have typed it in wrong. There we go. So let's say you want to match the size of the ad on right here on my site. Again, all you have to do is hit print screen go over to GIMP and you can hit file create from clipboard and it'll paste in that and then you just click on the crop tool and you just crop out nothing but that image and it will create the exact size for you.
it seems almost too simple, but that's really all there is to it. And now if I were to make an image on this, it would match the size of this perfectly.